Today I want to take a quick look at Jack Meter Bridge and how I found it helpful in monitoring my sound card's inputs and outputs. The software has a few different meters to choose from, and on the website you can read up on how the different meters display the signal. Looking at the output from MeterBridge H, you can see that we need to tell MeterBridge to connect to a specific set of jack ports. The Jack Audio Connection Kit comes bundled with a tool called Jack LSP. You can see that by default, Jack LSP lists all of the ports exposed to Jack. You can give Jack LSP an additional search string argument to filter its output. For example, I can list all my system capture ports by using Jack underscore LSP system colon capture. Similarly, I can list all my system playback ports using system colon playback. Now with this knowledge and a little bit of bash shell scripting, I can connect MeterBridge to all of my system's inputs using MeterBridge dash T and I'm going to use the type DPM for the digital peak meter. And then I use a dollar sign open bracket and then I input the output of Jack LSP system capture into MeterBridge. And there we go. Now on the fourth channel you can see my voice here. Similarly, I can get MeterBridge to show meters for all of my output ports like this. You can see in the left and right channel that I'm monitoring my microphone. We can see in this example that in order for MeterBridge to monitor the system outputs, it needs to insert itself between the jack clients and where they were sending their output. I'm going to use a track called The Centimeters by a project I was involved in called The Beat Tapes to give you a demonstration of what else MeterBridge can do.